everyone welcome to Wiggy channel once again and in this video we shall take a look at an application which is called after focus and you can do pretty much awesome things from this application so right away let's jump into the video and see how you can change your images and make uh, the backgrounds especially make it full blur just as if you have captured the picture on your DSLR camera so that's how you can do it when you capture the pictures on your smartphone and that's the app this is the after focus if you haven't downloaded it i highly recommend that you download this application and in order to download that just go to play store and type in after focus so here you have it with an uh, something like an eye of a lens so that's how this application looks so if you haven't installed install it i have installed it so i'm going to op open this application right away and as you can see this is the interface of the after focus application here you choose the album to choose the picture otherwise you can even directly capture and edit as well it all depends on the type of images you have and uh, what type of uh, editing you want to on that image not only the person's image you can do it for the subjects as well this is an awesome application so let's see how it works first you need to select the image of a subject so in this photo the subject is the model itself so we are going to select roughly uh, image of uh, this uh, model so roughly i'm going to select this and uh, here you can see different tools if you are uh, if you want to do it very professionally you can do this uh, by using these uh, other uh, tools available here but right now for this video purpose i'm going to use this uh, smart selection tool that's how it works first you need to select the um, image that is the subject then later you choose the third tool over here and the one that you want to make it blur you want to select that and mask out so this is how i'm going to select it roughly so if you uh, hold it you can see that the magnification window here it gives you precise selection to our uh, tool as well so you can precisely select what you want to select and what you want to deselect on from the image so for example if i want uh, only this much so what i did was to uh, smart select this and after you have selected this now that i want to blur this portion of the image so i want to keep this in focus and these all these things out of focus so in order to do that just press on next after you have selected the image right away right away just you can see how easy it is the entire background has been blurred completely so even further if you can if you want to blur it out you can use the sliders and the tools marked located over here as you can see this is the blur tool i can blur it out how much ever i want so this is how it processes and blurs the entire background and keeps the foreground image intact and in sharp so you can use the feather if uh, the edges are visible that you have cut out this uh, picture and uh, there is some edges visible you can use the feather tool so that it uh, merges with the background and doesn't look odd and out of uh, this uh, image so here you can use the motion blur if you have images that uh, are static and has the pose to give it a motion blur for the background you can do that as well and you can use this zoom blur to give it really cool effect as if something is popping up so here's how the uh, this zoom blur works so once you have uh, chosen what uh, you want to do with your image after this you have got this aperture tool over here so you can maintain you can uh, maintain the shape of the uh, depth of field by choosing all these different options available here you can also add the bokeh which is uh, really nice so this is the one of the funniest and uh, most useful and unique feature that i really loved about is adding the bokeh you can move the slider and it uh, basically chooses the different spots and points where it can highlight those bokeh like uh, things so it doesn't uh, add anything artificially it just chooses the image itself and brings that those elements from the image pop so that's how uh, you can add the bokeh and you can also add some filters right into this you don't have to uh, use another application to only add the filter and do such thing so i can right away add the filter here itself so as you can see how the filter is affected you can do it for this subject you can do it for background or for the whole picture that is how you choose the options over here so once you are done uh, doing all this stuff then you can straight away save the image you can once again check it press on this and you will get the uh, before picture this was the before before editing how see how this uh, background is sharp and has no depth of field over here this was captured on mobile itself so right now i have edited and made it really blurred and make the image uh, pop and sharp so that's how you can be creative you can do whatever you want with the image so this is uh, how this app works 
uh, it is available on the android for free uh, play store you can download it i highly recommend you download this application i hope this little video was helpful and if yes please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome contents and do like this video and share with your friends so that they could know about this application as well so see you all in the next video